welcome to Hermosillo. So the first commodity uh, we are seeing is the grape and uh, Mexico is pretty big producer of uh, grapes. Uh, almost they grow 7,000 acres of grapes in the country and two major producing regions uh, are uh, Sonora where I'm at and Baja California. Uh, Baja California's uh, grape is mostly used for wine uh, versus uh, wine, uh, the grapes in uh, Sonora are used to, other than wines they are used for brandy and raisin and the table grapes as well so this is the part of sonoran desert so it is a desert so no water it's very dry that's why you see this track of tractor tires because they run a tractor back and forth to avoid the root growth in between the raw metal because there is no water there's no nutrient they don't want roots to be in going towards the raw middle looking for a water nutrient and want to confine the root growth within the planting row. If you are wondering what is happening here is we are evaluating the grape roots. We applied root biostimulants here so we are checking if the biostimulant help to produce healthy active roots in grape or not. So that is me. I'm washing these roots with the water in the low pressure and uh, looking at the roots their health their length uh, and their vigor and working hard in sonoran desert <laughs> so the next day trip was to the watermelon field uh, seedless watermelon production and it was a very interesting view here the tons of watermelon thrown in the raw middle and these were all male watermelons or pollinizer variety so these are the female one and they have certain uh, pollinizer variety they put in the in the within the row or have a separate row and uh, so that they don't uh, use a lot of nutrient and water so you know the only ro role there is to provide the pollen so you just throw those fruits so that you don't waste the nutrient from the soil and when you cut them they look uh, like this and these will help uh, to pollinize uh, provide pollen to the female watermelon and uh, you will see a lot of uh, beehives of uh, bumblebees or, or honeybee uh, to pollinize these uh, these female watermelons uh, transfer these pollens to the female watermelons Another interesting thing I saw was the use of transparent uh, plastic mulch and you see tons of weeds growing it. When I see the transparent plastic mulch, I think about soil solarization and before you actually put a plant in, but there were already a uh, watermelon plants. So generally in soil solarization, you put this transparent plastic mulch, increase the temperature so that it grows these weed seeds in the plant pathogen. But right now there's a watermelon in the field too so i don't know why exactly growers there use these kind of transplant plastic mulch but it was very interesting to see that another task uh, we were supposed to do was to throw this drone uh, but i sucked <laughs> and the purpose of this uh, drone was to collect the pictures aerial images and determine the ndvi uh, a vegetative index number the total greeniness of the crop canopy that kind of gives an idea of the crop vigor uh, with the use of the uh, biostimulant products we are testing in the field so after that uh, we started heading towards the coastal line area kino area of Hermosillo, and uh, on the way we saw tons of uh, cactus and they were like all preservative uh, areas that had a tons of these uh, these cactus on this desert and they really were very cool uh, and just looks amazing so indio ceviche mariscada mariscada <laughs> <laughs> and that view Drop the salty water. A little bit of lemon. A little bit of sauce. What you say? Try it. 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 Try it.
Another big fish here. Oh. It was pretty cool to end our day in this Kino area and uh, just the view was great and uh, a lot of people go there to try seafood and uh, enjoy the view of this coastal line and having a mountain and the ocean together it just was very beautiful so another day we started driving towards another state called Sinaloa and we stopped by this place on the way a lime uh, orchard uh, they didn't have a citrus greening disease like us but they had some insects some disease problem but uh, the whole landscape uh, started being very different from very desert uh, dry place to we were moving towards more lushy green mountain area and definitely one of the place that is scary to a lot of people stayed in the Los Mochis area in Sinaloa and looks like uh, this area is pretty popular for the potatoes and uh, we were there at the potato harvesting and it is a little different uh, in uh, in United States is a machine harvesting is done for potato uh, everything is done by machine but looks like here the machine pulls the digs the potato out and human labor are used to collect those potato and bag them and put in the truck so so it's a little different but uh, definitely you know it, it's a a large production area and there's big growers that uh, do produce potatoes in a, in a large quantity. Actually we were here to evaluate the difference in the yield of potato with our biostimulant versus grower standard. So we were here to collect the yield uh, from a different group of the plant and, uh, and record that data to evaluate if our biostimulant helped grower to produce more potatoes or not so yeah i also uh, helped to harvest these potatoes and it was pretty fun and hot too other than the potato looks like a uh, chickpea is another big crop in los mochis area uh, i never saw a commercial chickpea production field but we passed through a couple of uh, chickpea fields that were recently been harvested um, and it was pretty fun to see this uh, harvested straw of chickpea. Overall, my trip to Mexico was pretty fun. I got to see new production practices, new places, new food. That sounds like a really interesting thing. I will never forget. It was very interesting to me. Was it people drinking next to the road? You can just pull the truck, and uh, you know you don't have to worry about the police. And like we do in Nepal, you can just stay drinking next to the road uh, we were drinking in the parking lot it was not an issue that's a really a rare case here in, here in the united states but you can just pull the truck and take the beer out of the cooler and drink in the parking lot uh, some of the really good food uh, like this goat uh, meat and soup was really great uh, i forget the name but i think we should write in the text box here in the caption uh, and uh, definitely desert rose one of my favorite uh, flower it was flowering intensely in this tropical heated place uh, overall i had fun and uh, i hope to come back again to learn more things in future thank you for watching